Welcome back. This is We Race Diecast. Getting ready for some Diecast racing. We got semifinal group two. Top two will move on to the finals. If you missed semifinal group one, you can go back and watch after this video. My name is Dave. I want to thank you guys for being here and let's meet the drivers. All right. First up, we got John Vista in the number 23 Subaru hatchback representing Johnny's Speed Shop. Next up is Kyle 2K Evans in the number 12 Honda Prelude driving for 2K Racing. Then we got Trixie in the number 5 Chrysler 300 sponsored by 503 Racing. Finally is Biscuit Brown in the number 59 Mustang driving for Smooth Boy Racing. The drivers had to win their groups in round one to get here, but only two will advance to the finals. If you're rooting for a specific driver, let them know in the comments, and let's get to it. John Vista and Kyle Evans will start us off in row one, Trixie and Biscuit Brown in row two. Oh, the cameraman getting a little wild, clip the mountain, but the race goes on, John Vista out front. Vista gets loose. Biscuit Brown going on the outside for third. Vista trying to spin around. Kyle Evans is there and passes into first. Only three get past the line. Trixie getting hung up on the wall after turn six. Can't really see what happened from the finish cam. Tough break, but Kyle Evans will take the win, followed by John Vista and Biscuit Brown. Cameraman getting close to the mountain. Gotta watch it, but able to stay with the cars. Biscuit Brown with a nice pass on Trixie. Trixie getting hung up on the wall and Kyle Evans making the pass for first. Nice way to open it up. Evans will take the lead in points. We got three more to go. Race two, Kyle Evans and Biscuit Brown up front. John Vista and Trixie in the back. Evans blasts out front, and Vista able to follow through. That drops Brown to third, and Trixie in the back. They come around turn six. Can't catch Vista, who picks up second place, followed by Biscuit Brown and Trixie. Evans does get the win by a wide margin, and that's back-to-back -back wins for the 2K team. Coming out swinging. That inside line, sometimes when you start in third, if you time it just right, you could slingshot under into second. Vista able to take advantage of that move and gets rewarded for it. Evans now with 10 points, just a few more and he'll clock his ticket into the finals. That leaves the bottom half of the group to battle it out for that remaining final spot. Two more laps to go. Race three, Biscuit Brown and Trixie up front. Need to get some points on the board. Kyle Evans and John Vista in the back. Trixie gets sideways and off track and the front three come to a halt. That's a quad DNF. Nobody wanting to give up their positions. Trixie and Brown both getting into it, causing the pile up. The number five car already with the DNF. Luckily we'll get the restart and a second shot. Let's line them back up. All right, they're back up top. Here we go. This time, Trixie able to keep it straight and will lead them out. Biscuit Brown trying to play catch up. Come around turn six. And Biscuit Brown with the pass. Passes Trixie for the win. Trixie in second. Vista and Evans in the back. What a move. Trixie nearly getting spun out a second time up top. Biscuit Brown not holding back there. Luckily able to make his move after turn six. Trixie makes contact with the wall and Brown comes around cleanly for the pass. It really tightens up the points for top three. Evan still with the advantage, has a two point lead. Brown and Vista only a point difference between the two. For Trixie on the bottom, just not her night. One more to go. Race four, Trixie and John Vista get the front row. Biscuit Brown and Kyle Evans in row two. Here we go. Vista is gone. A little loose, but holds on to it. Trixie in second, Brown and Evans in the back. Gets sideways after turn six, and Trixie gets around. Brown can't get around, and Vista will finish in second. He had it in the bag, just needed to get around turn six cleanly. 
missed the third in points. Knew he needed a big finish, but slipping up at the end. And look at the board. Needed that win, but instead will finish tied with Biscuit Brown. Kyle Evans with back-to-back -back wins for race one and two. Does enough and is moving on to the finals. Congratulations. Only two can go through, so Biscuit Brown and John Vista will have to race off head-to-head -head in a best of three. As they head up top, make sure you give us a like, and if you made it this far and you're not subscribed, might as well hit that button and join the family. Let's go! First to win two races, Biscuit Brown with the inside lane advantage for leading after race three. Brown out front. A little drift through turn four, but able to keep his lead. Gets loose, and Vista cracks him. Not able to get by, and Brown picks up the first win. Almost steals one away, but can't get over in time. Brown has to be shook up after that massive hit, but he only needs one more win. They switch lanes for race two. Vista out front. Here comes Biscuit Brown. Can't complete the pass. Vista able to hold him off. Oh, and Brown gets hung up on the track and Vista able to take it all the way. An uncontested win at the end, but a win nonetheless, and we are tied up. All comes down to this last race. Here we go. Vista able to pull out front from the outside lane. Almost loses control, but stays out front. They come around turn six. He keeps it straight and takes it in for the win. What a battle. John Vista's gonna move on to the finals. Congratulations. Unfortunately for Biscuit Brown, this is the end of the road. Hell of a job from the Smooth Boy Racing team. If you're a fan of Biscuit Brown, we'll see him soon on the Contender Series. I wanna thank you guys for sticking around to the end of the show and a huge thank you to our channel members. We have some exclusive content coming soon. Appreciate the support. And if you're interested in joining, we would love to have you. Thanks again, and we'll see you next week for the DQ Finals.